Cat 1-2, moderate to heavy precipitation, 12 o'clock, 2-0. With the next installment launching soon, selecting the right PC setup is essential, isn't it? From the expansive environments, weather, all types of demanding aircraft, airports, enhanced features demand more particularly when using add-ons and high-end aircraft models. Let's dive into getting the right PC to get prepped for the next installment. As always, thank you for tuning in by the way, and I'm Chikmang Law. Every week, we bring you something new and exciting. Consider subscribing as it can greatly support my channel. We've narrowed down to three different categories of PC, starting with low budget, mid range and high performance. First off, why do you even need a good PC for 2024, the next installment? Microsoft Flight Simulator is a highly demanding sim and a game in the next installment both in terms of graphical rendering and processing. Now with all that scenery to be rendered and airports with those butter landings, it needs a capable PC to fully experience that detailed world. Here are the key reasons why investing in a good PC is crucial for 2024. Why do we need it? Advanced graphics. Of course we need this. The next sim's photorealistic landscapes, you want to experience it, you better well have a decent PC. Real-world airports. Detailed aircraft models are just some of the examples here. And rendering these visuals alone at high resolutions requires a powerful GPU, such as an NVIDIA RTX 3070 or better. Now, low-end PCs struggle to maintain consistent frame rates with high-quality settings. Now, this leads to stuttering textures that really compromises and you lose that feel of it when you sim. Add-ons and supporting mods. There are thousands of add-ons today in our current sim and it's going to keep growing as we have seen over the last four years. The sim has thrived on community and developer made add-ons. Can you even imagine how much power even the Phoenix aircraft alone takes on your PC? Yes, popular third-party aircraft that includes a PMDG 737 or Phoenix A320 for example, scenery packs from several developers, demand significant processing power. Now, these detailed models and dynamic weather tools can tax both CPU and GPU, and this needs a mid to high performance setup to run smoothly with such additions. Now, looking at the detailed look at three PC tiers low budget, mid range, and high performance, along with essential considerations, which includes internet speed and add ons. Now, this configuration alone for basic gameplay is good at 1080p resolution, but honestly, do you need 1080p today? Running complex add-ons like PMTZ aircraft or any of the airports can cause performance dips on this. Keep this in mind. Streaming scenery in real-time, which includes photogrammetry, could also push these systems to their limits. While multiplayer modes and basic add-ons will work, it's going to function, but it needs to stick to default aircraft and minimal mods. So you gotta stick to stock aircraft and airports or lighter freeware mods and reduce graphical settings to medium or low to maintain a smoother gameplay. Now we spoke about why we need a powerful PC. Something to consider is also real-time streaming and multiplayer. Yup, this is gonna be big and MSFS integrates real-time weather updates, air traffic, photogrammetry, all streaming high-resolution scenery from the cloud. That means not only a strong internet connection, by the way, the recommended is between 50 to 100 Mbps as a minimum, but also a PC that can handle constant asset loading without any bottlenecks. Now, a good SSD helps with fast data access that ensures minimal lag and smooth gameplay. And this applies to everything that includes long haul flights or multiplayer sessions. We went over low budget PCs for beginners to start with. Let's go over the mid range PCs. You want to enhance the visuals now, make your sim look more beautiful, better and support more add-ons. Now this would be the avenue. Here are the key specs and mid-range PCs that opens the door to more immersion. You can run demanding aircraft here. Now this includes Phoenix A320 for example and PMDG 737 without stutters, especially with medium high settings. Now this tier handles multiple mods, including custom airports, weather tools like Rex Weather Force, though you may still need to tweak some settings for smooth performance, 
things can get better. Now, one of the reasons to have a good PC would also be to consider VR. Yes, virtual reality. Now, this enhances immersion, but it is demanding on hardware. And a system with an Intel i9 or Ryzen 9 CPU, 32 plus gigs of RAM, and an RTX 4090 GPU ensures a fluid VR experience. That's right. Now, lower tier PCs may struggle with VR, resulting in motion sickness due to low frame rates or visual lag. Now, the mid-budget PC setup also supports VR at reasonable frame rates. So please keep this in mind. This makes it ideal who use peripherals like HOTAS or head tracking devices. Talking about internet speeds, they matter here as scenery and real world weather are streamed in real time. Let's talk about high performance PC, the ultimate experience with VR plus complex add-ons. Now high-end PCs deliver the most immersive experience possible, period. These setups can handle 4K resolution with ultra settings. Honestly, not all the time, but it does handle for the most part, along with complex add-ons like A2A aircraft and highly detailed airports. VR gameplay like headsets like Pimax Crystal Light is smooth and seamless. So thanks to the robust GPU and high refresh rates. Now, one of the other reasons to have a good PC would be future-proofing. Yes, MSFS 2024 will receive regular updates and new content. That's going to happen the same way as we saw it in 2020. This includes aircraft, gameplay modes, world updates, and sim updates. And to avoid needing frequent upgrades, a mid-range or a high-end PC ensures future-proofing. It should be ready to handle not only MSFS 2024, but also demanding games and future expansions. So for the best MSFS 2024 experience, a high-performance PC can ensure that you can explore every corner of the virtual world without limitations, every inch of the globe mid-range PCs offer a balance between cost and performance, suitable for most players looking to use third-party aircraft and scenery. Low-budget PCs are ideal for casual simmers, but remember, this requires compromises on graphical fidelity plus add-ons. With these setups, you'll be ready to take off on the 19th of November this year, enjoying everything that the sim has to offer. Remember, a good PC unlocks the full potential of the sim. This can be run on entry-level setups with reduced settings. But the best experience requires mid- or high-end PCs. These systems can always give us smooth gameplay, better visuals, better use of mods, and of course, future-proofing, letting you fully immerse yourself in the skies. So, do you plan on upgrading your PC, or what type of PC do you currently have? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye for now.